Suddenly, life can swerve into an unforeseen bend. For me, it swerved into a painful detour when the undesirable visitor of chronic pain decided to take up permanent residence. An unwavering, oppressive comrade, this pain shaped my life, coloring my world with hues of misery. Then, like a glimmer of hope in a storm, Daisy pranced into my life. A quadruped angel, she was far from a typical savior. Her tail wags were not just a symbol of her happiness, but morphed into my source of laughter. Her gentle paw nudges, a calming solace during the darkest and loneliest periods. Daisy, my canine ally, became an educator in her unique way. She instilled in me the virtue of resilience, demonstrated that even during the darkest days, there's, there's always a cause to express joy. In the midst of the tempest, she taught me how to relish the rain, her unconditional affection, a soothing salve to my constant pain. Daisy didn't just alter my life's trajectory, she revolutionized it. From being trapped in a world of agony, she guided me of hope and pleasure, a space where pain was not a tormentor, but a part of existence. Daisy, with her attentive ears and enthusiastic tail, reminded me in her distinctive manner that life is more than just enduring pain. She guided me on how to accept it, to discover happiness amidst adversity, to savor the minor victories when the broader picture appeared desolate. Such is the charm of Daisy, my canine confidant, my guiding light, my ray of sunshine during overcast days. Chronic pain might be an unwelcome of my life, but Daisy, she's the most significant influencer of my life. She's made me realize that even the tiniest creatures can indeed create the most substantial impact. As I stand here today, a living testament to her love, resilience, and unyielding vigor. Remember, the smallest creatures can make the biggest difference. Daisy didn't just change my life. She transformed, she transformed it. Her presence introduced a fresh rhythm to my days. Her shaking tail was the first thing that greeted me each morning, and her soft snores became my nighttime lullaby. She kept me company during my painful times, her presence constantly reminding me that I was not alone. She was there during my moments of joy, her eyes mirroring my excitement. She was always there, a steadfast presence in my otherwise unpredictable. As Daisy became an integral part of my life, she took on a role I never thought a pet could assume, that of a therapist. Her unspoken language, her empathetic eyes, and her calming presence started to work wonders on my mental state. Just like a skilled therapist, she would listen to my unspoken words, understand my hidden pains, and offer her healing presence in response. Every time I felt a surge of pain, Daisy would intuitively sense it and lay her head on my lap, her soft fur providing a comforting touch. During my sleepless nights, she would sit by my side, her rhythmic breathing acting as a soothing lullaby, lulling me into a peaceful sleep. Her playful antics became my laughter therapy sessions, her joyous wagging tail spreading infectious happiness. Whenever I felt overwhelmed, a simple walk with Daisy would clear my mind, her enthusiasm for the smallest things reminding me to appreciate the simple joys of life. The profound connection between Daisy and me transcended the barriers of language and species. She showed me that therapy doesn't always require words. Sometimes, all you need is a warm, comforting presence and an understanding heart. Daisy, my four-legged therapist, taught me the power of unspoken empathy and unconditional love in healing pain. As Daisy became a part of my everyday life, I started to notice the little things. The way her tail would enthusiastically wag at the sight of me, her eyes lighting up, a heartfelt personal welcome. Her excited tail wag was more than just a greeting. It was a beacon of happiness, a sign that I wasn't left alone in my struggle. Each wag was a significant gesture, an expression of her unwavering loyalty, clear signal of her radiating joy and comfort. She would nudge me gently, a simple yet powerful reminder of her. These soothing nudges were not just actions, they were her way of expressing her support and companionship. Each soft touch was a comforting gesture that lifted my spirit, eased my discomfort, and reminded me that I was not alone. The moments we shared were not just instances of a pet's affection, they were signs of a deep non-verbal communication, a language that only an eye could comprehend. Each glance she threw my way was filled with empathy, understanding and kindness. It felt as if she could perceive my pain, feel it, and then reflect back her unwavering support, her care and her strength. A close-up of Daisy would reveal more than just a pet. It would show a friend, a confidant, a therapist in a furry disguise. Her presence, constant and reassuring, was a comforting warmth in the cold, lonely hours of chronic pain. Daisy, my guiding light in the darkness of discomfort. 
her companionship, a testament to power of a pet's love that transcends language and species. It was in the quiet moments that her magic became evident, moments when it was just the two of us, sharing the silence, her silent presence echoing louder than any conversation. Her love, her companionship, was a beacon of hope, a reminder that even in the midst of pain, there's always a reason to wag your tail. And in these moments I found not just comfort but a strength to face my pain. Because with Daisy by my side I was no longer just surviving, I was living.